Good morning. Do you like our, our new apartment? Yep. I figured Kyle and Miranda left. So, so you wanna just change the locks and Yeah, and sure. Just, I'm our sure place now. Go over well. Yeah. I mean like possession is nine tenths of the law, right? So yeah, but they still have keys. Well that's why we changed the locks. And the people downstairs don't know us. Huh. You gotta figure that out. We'll think of something. <laughs> Anyways, it's a buffer festival day one. Well like official day one, because I guess there was like an industry day yesterday. But today is the first day of the actual day. shows and stuff where guests can come and all that jazz. There was a show last night. There was a show last night. However, the first show today is Welcome, Welcome to, to Buffer, Buffer Festival. Festival. Which is what we're so, going to right now. Exactly. We got a show, then we got our volunteer shift, and then a show, another show. And then a meetup, and, then, meet up, and then maybe another show. Maybe another show. Or maybe a bed. Depends. Possibly a busy day. Well, it's a busy day nonetheless. Possibly a super busy day. So we, we shall see. We shall see. But right now we got to head out to the streetcar and uh, get downtown and get down. You know? Is that you getting down? Getting downtown? Yeah. Is that bad? No, no, that's, that's you did. quite all right. You may. <laughs> ha 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 ha, you're so silly. I wasn't making fun of you, I was just commenting on it. <laughs> Anyways, morning. So we're walking to our streetcar stop, and just right here, it feels like we're gonna just walk right onto the highway where we are. Because it's just like, this like merges in. The highway is right there. Everything's crazy. It's a little bit scary. It's just so weird. As Kyle said yesterday, you gotta get up to merging speed. Yeah, good luck. I think you need to go faster. Yeah, that fast. <laughs> look, it's just right there. We're just right there. That's why this show is free, because uh, we're figuring out all of the details. In fact, uh, there's actually some other YouTubers and, and members of Apprentice Aid that were going to host this with me that are uh, back in the hotel room rapidly exporting videos, trying to get everything ready for all of the screenings. Um, so thank you very much for coming. Um, this is the most difficult time of Buffer Festival um, for so many reasons. One, obviously, we've been planning this for a year. Two, it's a, a school day. Um, is anybody skipping school right now to be here? Yeah, that's what we thought. <laughs> when we first came up with Barber Festival and we were talking to Tiff um, well over a year ago, we were trying to figure out, like, you know, are we just doing Buffer Saturday and Sunday? We want more days than that. We have more shows than that. So I said, well, what do they do at the Toronto International Film Festival? And they were like, people just skip school. Just do it. They'll skip school. Don't worry about it. So, um, so again, this show is going to be free. Uh, I assume that most people here are just like really hardcore fans of YouTube. Is that correct? Oh. Cool. We did also invite some press. There are some press here, so I'm going to talk as if you don't know very much about YouTube, because this is the Welcome to Buffer Festival screening, as if you don't really know what Buffer Festival is. So in a way, I'm kind of preaching to the choir, because I'm sure out of everybody, you guys are some of the people that know most uh, about what Buffer Festival is. But for those who don't, it is a three-day film festival. Uh, we are showing a bunch of YouTube videos up on the big screen, and we are proving to the public, to traditional media, to the press, that people are willing to come out and watch YouTube videos in a theater. We think that's really cool. It's something we really believe in. And it's very different from other YouTube events like VidCon or Playlist Live, um, because it's not a convention. It is a film festival. So we are super, super glad you're here. We're just going to show you a bunch of different videos from a bunch of different screenings that are happening. Sorry, yeah, repeating the question, uh, Briarly asked, what makes a video good? Um, I mean, that's a, that's a huge topic because you're almost, the second it's in a certain category, you're already applying like a category to it. Like what makes a good vlog versus what, make, what makes a good short film? I can say good videos are short, but there are half an hour videos that I love. 
you know, I can say good videos are well edited, but there's videos with no editing that are still really good videos. I think what you're really looking for um, is some type of either connection or entertainment. Some videos have some distance from people. It's produced, it's formal, it's not looking in the camera. And in those videos, they generally are looking to be really, really high quality and impress you or entertain you in some way. And then on the flip side of that is the opposite. It's the informal videos. And on the informal videos, you're looking for something really personal, really honest, really open, uh, a real connection, something very organic. So yeah, I think, I think knowing, I mean, if you're making a video, knowing what type of video it is, are you going for personal high YouTube, or are you going for like, here's a piece of entertainment, and they're two different types of things, and YouTube supports both. Of course, this could be heavily debated, and there could be all kinds of examples I'm not thinking of, but that's just off the top of my head. All right, guys, we're going to kick you out. Thanks for coming to the free show. Thanks for trusting us with your time. I hope you enjoy Buffer Festival. Uh, and lastly, the coolest thing, the one thing not to miss at Buffer Festival is tomorrow night's gala. If you can go, tickets to that aren't $15. They're $50, and you have to dress super, 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 super nice. If you can't, don't want, if you can't afford that, which I totally understand, the red carpet is free. And every YouTuber is going, and we're shutting down uh, Front Street, which is really cool. So you're going to want to be there and tell people that come to the red carpet. It's going to be free. It's going to be crazy. should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. See you around Buffer Festival. Thank you so much. So we just came out of the Welcome to Buffer Festival free screening, and it was fantastic. It was really neat. It was just like showing videos from like a bits and pieces of the people that are having shows in this festival and it was really exciting but the best thing in my opinion right now I'm so happy about it they showed the 2013 recap video that they created and I was so excited when they made that video because I'm in it so I am on the big screen they showed the video and I am in it I'm just like oh, it's Wheezy Waiter oh my goodness that's me oh. It's so cool. It's just like blew my mind that they put that up and it was just like so awesome, so exciting. I loved it. It was just great. And Buffer Festival has started off. Everything is fantastic. In a short amount of time we are going to have our volunteer shift and it's happening. It's happening. It's amazing. I love it. I'm so so happy, so excited. Everything's just coming up, Lydia. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Lydia. Yeah, it's all me, man. I should have put my face in it. Your face is in it. Oh, my face is in it. I'm in the in the corner. Videos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I think I said this last time, but I'm like the Mike Wazowski. Yeah. Guy. I'm like. I'm in the video! <laughs> I'm in the video! Yeah. Everything's awesome. I know! Sean made a funny. He's like, I don't recognize that yeah. red-haired girl. It's true. It's like, you're not in that video. That girl didn't have blue hair. I have blue hair now, but I had red hair then. It's me, I swear. I mean, if you're here as a, as a, as a subscriber or viewer of Corey Vidal specifically, you might have noticed I've uploaded like two YouTube videos this year like in all of 2014. But we as a print to say, um, oh, I do know the first video. We as a print to say, um, uh, we vlog every day, kind of. I mean, we do. We're not particularly good at it. Um, <laughs> and uh, we shot a clip the other day specifically for you guys. So, uh, so we're gonna share that. Are we all gonna like walk off the stage and walk on the stage every time? Can not just sit down? I'm like so okay with that. We're so not sleeping. <laughs> oh man, I just wish this could be Buffer Festival all the time. I'm not exactly sure why Corey asked me to host this, but he did. <laughs> and so I, I hope I, I hosted it as well as possible for you. Thank you everybody for coming out to the Apprentice A screening at Buffer Festival 2014. I assume we'll see you back here next year. Okay, goodbye, go away. <laughs> So we're in line for the Apprentice Inc. meetup. It's gonna be really nice. This is actually the only meetup we're going to go to for all of Buffer Festival. Apprentice A meetup, that's it. That's everything. That's it. For meetups, we're still gonna to go to Vloggers and Vlogumentary. That's the only ones we've bought tickets for.
any, at any rate. So it's exciting. I'm really happy. It's really nice because there's a lot less people going to this meetup, and so there's going to be a lot more time dedicated to each single person. So it'll be nice. Also, we count as two people, so we should just get twice the amount of time as one normal person. I think that works, doesn't it? Yeah. I agree. The math, the math works. So you'll never guess. Apprentice! Hey, hey. What? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so we met them, we made Sasuke cry, yep. it's great. We're the yep. best ever. <laughs> Making people cry is our goal now. Yeah. Um, thank you again for Buffin Festival. It is wonderful to experience it in Canada. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for your dedication. I watched, I walked past these guys so many times, like while they were volunteering, just being like, they're still there. Yeah! yeah. yeah we, we saw you running with your big giant your box. box. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Your heels again. How are your feet? Yeah, they're 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 <laughs> they're, 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 they're feet. They're, they're, feet. Feet. <laughs> they're still feet. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We get to sit down. Sitting, Sitting down, down is, is like so great. nice. And like I can't imagine because we like we worked today and we were on our feet for a while, but in we, comparison to what some other people are doing. Yeah, like uh, I can't imagine. We had it easy. We definitely had it easy. But yeah, today was such a good day. Today was really, really awesome. And like we got to, I mean like we've we've met the members of Apprentice A before and like we've talked because like we went um, last summer, uh, we went to the meetup gathering type thing and we talked to them a bit. Um, and like obviously we've seen them around because being volunteers we've obviously talked with many of the members and as they are in charge of us uh but it was very interesting to be able to actually talk with them yes in this setting and just say some of the things that we were able to say yeah because in their show they were talking about their day 1000 for a tiny little bit and like it's so powerful it's a just emotional connection kind of thing just knowing that vlogging is crazy and we we told them that we're about to reach day 1000 in one month November 18th it's gonna be our celebration of day 1000 and we got high fives because they're just <laughs> like that yeah. is a big commitment and they understand everything yeah. that we go through to make that happen like the struggle yeah the <laughs> struggle is real it's work and and i think probably a lot of people might not necessarily understand that yeah and they understand that's <laughs> vloggers understand the struggle of being a vlogger so yeah yeah I mean, that was it was really that was nice. very nice to have them like congratulate us for that because it's just like yeah we're doing this. We're going to reach day 1000. That's crazy talk. It doesn't seem real, but like it is. We've made that many videos. And also <laughs> making Saskia cry. I felt so bad. Uh, the reason I made her cry was, um, and Lydia cry as well. <laughs> Did you cry because of what I said or because Saskia was crying? Both. Bo bit of both? Um, I just expressed to Saskia and Corrado couldn't be there um, but of how much their relationship through the vlogs um, has like really like I guess I said I said inspired us yeah it's just it's it's inspired us it's impacted us and it's 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 really nice to see something like that and like Lydia and I always joke we're like the young we, we view ourselves as like the younger um, version of of uh, of Corrado and Saskia they're just like, that's where we're going to be, we feel we're going to be at in like three years or whatever. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much again. it. Don't cry. And so it's just, uh, it's just so nice to see them and sharing their relationship through vlogs. Because that's what, that's what we do. And it's, it's good to kind of see that parallel. And, and yeah, they, their, I'm going to make Lydia cry with this. <laughs> their love of each other is such a amazing thing to see and it helps us um, also 
portray our love of each other through our videos. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're making everybody cry. <laughs> and also, I uh, briefly talked with Corey about uh, his video talking about his struggles with his ADHD and just, just general men mental health and all that stuff and how that impacted me uh, to to address my issues with mental health as well and that's stuff that I've been dealing with um, the last couple months like well I, I've been dealing with it for a very long time but I've been dealing with it for the last couple months uh, and a lot of that is because of his video and it's just just everything like I mean YouTube is very important to us and obviously we we um, draw a lot of inspiration and motivation and all that kind of stuff from the people that we watch online uh, and Apprentice A is a very big part of that and, and they're a very big part of our lives um, just to kind of be able to view them and that that's the thing they they influence us they inspire us and and everything they do is is important to us and that's why that's why you know we love being here being volunteers at Buffer Festival helping second, them second year in a, in a row help yeah. make it happen exactly like cuz we appreciate everything that they do and we want to be able to to help them as much as we can um, to to give back to them cuz they give so much you know we want to show our gratitude and our support and our support and it's a hard thing for us to do so we'll do it any way we can but yeah it's just so great being here it was so great talking to them and just being able to express um how we feel about well about <laughs> about their vlogs and them and buffer in general and it's just today was a very good day today was a really good day all right guys it's late been a long day we need to get some sleep because we are also volunteering tomorrow and then we have a bit of a break after our volunteer shift and then I believe we are going to the gala event and then we're really really looking forward to that that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty awesome so we need to be well rested so that we can be awesome tomorrow sound like a plan sounds like a plan sounds like a plan Stan all right Time to get some sleep. Good night, guys.